Hello and welcome to my video on how to make movies and uh, another section will be how to post them on YouTube. But uh, this is mainly going to be about uh, how to edit the movie and uh, what software you'll need on your computer. Uh, this will cover Windows based computers. Mainly I have a Windows 10. So let's get started. First thing you're going to have to do is uh, Windows 10 uh, does not come with uh, Movie Maker, which is a Windows based product that came free on all of the previous uh, uh, issues of Windows. And uh, so, uh, first thing you'll have to do is download uh, Microsoft Windows uh, Media or Movie Maker. Uh, here's what it looks like uh, the icon when you uh, get it downloaded. So let's go to your favorite internet br browser which uh, mine happens to be uh, Google Chrome and I launch it and uh, oh look at that guy. Um, we go to just click up there in the address uh, bar and then you type download Microsoft Movie Maker. Enter. Okay, of the choices, we want right here Windows Movie Maker free download for Windows 7, 8, 10, XP, and Vis uh, Vista. We're 10, so this will work. Once you uh, Act, uh, access this web page you have an option here to download and you would simply click on that and go through the Windows uh, uh, alert uh, how to download it and uh, activate it and you will be ready to start so we're going to leave that for you to to download to your computer so I'm going to get out of that and once you have it downloaded, then what you will do is access it. I go to the icon and it will automatically place an icon on your desktop. If it doesn't, then you might want to do that. Open, open it up large. Now, this is the way it will come up when you first access it. And you say, well, what do I do next? Right down here. Uh, this is how you access the um, video on your computer. Now I'm going to assume you know how to place the... Um, I guess I shouldn't assume. We should probably uh, go over that, but for right now, let's work with this. Double click on there. And then what I do is I have to go to my video section. That's where you should place your movies and I uh, click on that and I have a, uh, a several folders here video completed when I complete a video I place it in that folder but when it's unedited I put it in a folder that I named video to edit so I'm going to go there and I'm going to select a video that uh, is about 50 seconds long and let's see, which one do I want? Uh, let's see, Georgia Mountain Rides. And I'm going to go here to this one, which, I'm sorry, this one is 50 seconds. And it'll be a, a nice little time frame to edit. Whenever you take movies, uh, you start out with a with activating the camera and you get a lot of stuff on there that uh, you p might not particularly want to uh, to have as part of your finished movie so this is what we're going to edit out okay i double click on that and what will happen is you will uh, the, the program will start loading you notice the green down here it's loading the software into your movie maker and you get a little preview screen right here 
Now you can uh, click on this and it will open it up bigger, but you really don't need to um, uh, until later. What you're going to do is uh, you can play it. So we sit here and you hear the rushing noise. If you don't want the noise in there, uh, we have a way of uh, editing the noise out. And what you do is come over here to edit and you first before you do anything if you want to take all the audio out go to edit come over to video volume click on it and you can just simply drag it over uh, to the far left and it will shut the sound off and then later you can put other music or what have you to it so that's the first thing that I like to do is get that uh, sound out of there. And uh, once you've done that, then you can go back to, once you click somewhere that uh, will go off. Now we play it and now you don't have all that rushing noise. And then you play it to a point where you want to start uh, having it in your movie. Now we're coming up on, on Dan here and we got a nice beautiful look of the sky right there and uh, we're going to pass him and what we're going to do is we're going to cut out this section. Uh, we're 14 and a half seconds into the video. We want to take that section out. So what I have to do is up here under edit, see split. Uh, and that's the point. If you wanted to go back or forward, you can simply drag this and get to the exact view. See how that goes up and down? We don't want that. I moved the camera, so I'd rather go there and then I, you can see how I want to get just that in there and maybe some more and then stop it uh, maybe right there. So let's go back and find the point that we want. So, and, and I'm uh, pushing down on the left mouse and just dragging this. And see, you can drag it slow. Now I'm looking for that click down there. See, okay. I don't want that in my video. So what I do is I come up and right there, I let go and leave it there, then come up to split left click on split and it puts me a cut point right there so now I have that cut point it doesn't affect anything but what it allows me to do is when I move my cursor or click on this side you see the blue outline that means that this section is selected and I can do stuff with it if I click on this this is selected and if I hit the delete key, this is going to delete. I don't want that. I want this. So always look for the blue uh, line around the area that's your target. Now, if I want to delete that, I could just right click and then hit remove and bam, I've gotten rid of that leading edge. See, my marker is all the way to the left. I hit play. And look at there, whoop, I just moved up a little bit there. So if I wanted to take that out, you see how that worked? There, I just moved up. I could move right there. Then I hit split again. And then I highlight that just by touching it. You see, you just touch it. I right click and then remove. And now we play it and we're smooth. That is editing. That's what you want to do to make a, a video that is pleasing. And then you simply uh, go along and if you decide that when we get just up to that point and you wanted to cut there and take out some of the other stuff, you could just click and this is highlighted. I right click, remove. 
Now, there's my video that maybe I want to add to another video. Uh, maybe I took several videos. Okay, so this is an edited piece of only 11.7 seconds. And there's my video. And maybe this is all you wanted to show. There. So, that is uh, what we call editing. That took 50 second video and chopped out uh, any scenes that we didn't like. And notice it's all nice and smooth. The camera is not being moved and I don't have that up and down motion. So, now if uh, you want to add, uh, let's say this is our finished video, um, or if you wanted to add another section of video to this, let's say, you could just come up here to home, then you click on uh, add video, and you go to the file or the folder that has the video that you wanted. Now I was in, um, uh, up here you look, Georgia Mountain Rides. So what I wanna do is go down to where some of the other video, let's say um, right here, this is a one minute and eight second video. Let's say there's something in there that uh, we wanted. So what it'll do is it will add it to the end of this video that I just uh, edited. And so I can have the video that I edited and add some more onto the end. Now, uh, you see this is highlighted, so this is what I'm going to observe on my preview. So I just simply left click and drag this and I can see what I've got and if I spot okay now there's another section where we pass okay let's say that I want and I want to try and find right in there is a dip so I could try and I, I'm just moving this back and forth let's say when I get right about there I'm gonna cut all of that out. So what I have to do is go from the home, hit edit, hit the uh, splice or split. Now, this is the section I wanted to take out. So when I touch it, it turns blue all the way around. I right click and then I remove. And now, uh, here's what we've got. So. I hit play and I'm gonna well I won't speed it up just to show you the transition now there's the sound again let's say that I want to stop right there I will put another splice point there and I don't want any more of this, so I will touch it, right click, remove. Now, I have the sound out of this area. And when I click on this up here, you see it's off. But when I touch over here, in there somewhere, you see the sound is on because I added this. So now I have to turn that sound off. And now, when I play all the way through, it's going to be um, it's going to be uh, no sound. So now is a good time that uh, these are the two clips I want, and actually, uh, it's only 20 seconds total, almost 20 and a half. There you go. This is our video that we've edited from two videos and put together. And then you can get creative and cut uh, and take out things that you don't like, um, a quick movement or what have you. And there you go. Now it's going to just loop and replay each time so I can just pause it. Go up here back to Movie Maker. And uh, there you go. So...
uh, let's say that we want a little music. So I go, wherever this cursor is, is where the uh, music is going to be placed. You simply go to the music file to add. And then you go to your wherever your music is. And I have background, uh, video background music. You could uh, do anything. Let's say um, uh, Daisy Duke. And I get free video. You can't use um, people's work without their permission. So you have to find ways of getting free music if you're going to put it on YouTube. So I highlight Daisy Duke file, which is a free file from YouTube. And it places the music in there. And uh, it starts it right at the point that I have my cursor. So here's what it sounds like. Okay, I'm not going to play it all the way through, but you see uh, what you've got. Now, there's other options you can do for your movie. If you want, uh, in each of these transitions, you have uh, uh, animation. You can add a uh, a dissolving screen or what have you, or, or have it turn. I'll let you explore those. I'm not going to put any of those on there. But what I'm going to do is go to the home page and you may want a title page. So you, uh, when you come to title on the home uh, button, you click title and it'll give you a chance to add a title. So uh, I just take and left click and drag my mouse to highlight all of that. And uh, I can type my first movie. Okay, now uh, what I can do is if I want to get the color of this text, I can drag it all. Then you go over to this little area right here, text color, and you left, uh, left click on that. And let's say I want it uh, um, yellow. And then I want some outlining, outline size let's say i just want a small outline and the outline color let's say we're going to have uh, a a dark uh, let's see red that always is a good contrast so we have yellow with uh, outline of red and we're going to get a a background color instead of black we go up here and this is uh Right here is background color. And let's say I want a light blue. Okay. Or uh, you could do whatever. Okay, then when we play it, this is what it'll look like. Uh, now, uh, if you want uh, something else uh, to come in like uh, this, you can select some of these uh, different um, ways the, the lettering comes in. Uh, you can do this. So that's something for you to explore all of these different uh, uh, things that you can do with your video, okay? So um, I'll leave that to you. The scope of this class won't uh, allow it. And here we've got uh, a whole ton of stuff here directed. By, uh, so if you get things you don't want, you highlight it where it's uh, surrounded and you can hit remove, remove, remove. That This is not good. Uh, let's see. So we're going to go here. And we're, we can back up and do everything back. Okay, there's my movie. OK, 
Okay, and if you want the color, uh, you do the um, home and uh, oh, options rather. Nope, edit. Uh, let's see. Oh, I got to be on that. And then you click this and background is let's say it's a little darker blue okay there so here's our movie with music Now you can also add credits. When you click on credits, it will automatically place it uh, to the, uh, uh, the back part of your video. So you don't have to try and place it. It will know that. Uh, the title goes to the front. Now there's one other uh, option that you might want to, to look at, and that is your caption. Uh, when you're on the home area here, caption, is uh, something you can kind of bring out a point. When this gets uh, to a certain point, let's say you want to say, here's Dan. So you hit caption at that point, and you can move this later by uh, left clicking and dragging to the exact spot that you want. But I'm gonna say that's where I want it, right where my cursor is to start. You come down here, and uh, you just click on this and highlight the whole area. Uh, let's see, there. Okay, and then you come up and uh, you start typing, but you can change the type of lettering and the size right here, and you can make it bold if you like, or italicized, and what have you. Uh, you can actually uh, change the uh, uh, the size of it, uh, you can change the color. Um, let's say we want yellow, which shows up pretty good. And now you just say here, whoop, you have to highlight it. Uh, okay, here is Dan. Okay, and then you just click out somewhere and there it will be and you can also say how many seconds you want it to last uh, on the screen so let's go back i'm just going to grab this and pull it and now we're going to play it and see what it shows and there you are let's say that uh, you want to put it to the top or uh, over to the side you whoop, let's say right here you come over here and then you can put it over here if you wanted or you can move it up here right there um, but it defaults to the center uh, you can also click this and it'll move uh, stuff around inside of that like if you had a sentence or something okay so we'll just leave that there and uh, there you go so that's your um, your cap captions. So you got everything you need to know about editing video and uh, then you, the last thing you need to do is when you're totally happy with it, uh, you come over here and you go to save video or save. You click on that and this is a good file uh, to file type to save as so I would just use the default that comes on there and then you place it wherever you want it to go and you put the title you want my first movie okay and uh, we're in completed automatically so I just simply save and it will be placed in video completed. Bam. And now it's, uh, it's saving it.
so it takes a few seconds to do that. Now if you have a very long video, like 10 minutes long, it's going to take much longer to go through these saving processes and also to upload to YouTube is going to take a few hours to upload a 10 minute video. Okay, now it's going to give you an opportunity to play that. So I'm going to play it in full screen and over here in the right, click it. And there's your video that you just made. In full screen at high resolution, 1080. Okay, it's all edited. There you go. We took two videos and made just this. And you've got all the steps there to do, and then we could have completed this, but uh, that's it. Okay, now uh, we will go through uploading at another time to YouTube, okay? This is long enough. So I'm going to close that out. Now, one other thing is it's a good idea to save uh, your edited video and uh, so that if you made a mistake, you find out you misspell something or you want to add something else or a different music, uh, when you go to close this out, it's going to always give you an opportunity. Do you want to save changes to my movie uh, you say yes and what it'll do is it'll put it under video completed and then you will put uh, my first oh movie okay and then it will make a file like this that you can come back later <clears throat> and re-edit if you need to. So uh, you don't want to throw that uh, copy away uh, until you're totally satisfied at another day. So there you have everything you need to know to get started in uh, editing video. And then we will go through how to upload it to uh, YouTube at another time. Thanks for listening. I'll see you later. Goodbye.